Today, popular YouTubers and devs are getting banned, a YouTuber being exposed, and so much more. Chiseled is so close to 300,000 subscribers, so please subscribe and leave a like. Let's get right into the news. Let's start with something good Roblox actually did. They're once again cracking out on extensions like Real Searcher. Extensions like these allow you to join anyone's games, even if you aren't friends with them, and even if they have the joins off. And as we can see, they shut down another popular one called Search Blocks. The only downside to this though, is that no matter what, they always find a way back. And if it's not the exact one, there's always other options. This problem has been ongoing for so long now, and I don't know if we'll ever see an official end to it, because when one gets banned, another one just pops up. Next up, they'll wave some sad news. I'm sure we're all familiar with the owner of Please Own It by now, Hasm. Pretty popular figure in the community. But out of nowhere, his main Twitter account got banned, and all it told him was that he broke the Twitter rules. No actual real reason. Maybe he was spam reported, we don't really know. But hopefully Twitter recognized that this wasn't right, and he reinstated his account. Because ultimately, he didn't do anything wrong. Next up though, we have a pretty insane situation. Thinknoodles is a pretty respected YouTuber in the community, and it was kind of shocking to see that he got called out for stealing thumbnails for Flamingo. Which sounds bad at first for Thinknoodles, but we've come to learn that this actually isn't his fault. Think responded actually being really mad, and he explained that it was a thumbnail artist, and that they would be firing them. And before he move on, he did in fact go try to change the thumbnail, as much as he can. But what's crazy is that he did in fact fire the person, right on the spot. We know this because the next week was him looking for a new thumbnail artist. Which is pretty crazy to see. Very respectful though, he wasn't having any of it. This is how people should act and respond when they get called out for stealing. Change the thumbnail and question the thumbnail designer. Think it's a good example of the right way to act. People like Lankybox though, on the other hand, are the wrong way to act. They just don't care and don't change anything. Furthermore though, think about a whole tweet calling them out and showing other times they stole and just warning people in general not to work with them. And also eventually the thumbnail artist just came clean and admitted they stole the thumbnail. Pretty insane situation that escalated very quickly, but a very respectful situation from Think. Good on him for taking action as soon as he can. Speaking of Lankybox just recently though, let's get into our last topic. Lankybox is not particularly loved in the community, especially the Roblox Twitter community, because they constantly steal thumbnails and never own up to it. And on top of this, they are massive YouTubers who can easily afford to get new thumbnail designs or whatever. And for some reason, I don't know where, their Twitter got deleted or deactivated, which is pretty insane. We don't know why they did this, or why this even happened. To be fair though, they weren't really that active. If they did deactivate, it could possibly be because of all the hate. Because all people did was tweet them hate. I doubt that's a reason though. But on the other hand, if they got banned, that also kind of wouldn't make sense. Because they barely even tweet. And when they did tweet, it was just like a video. So no tweet would warrant a ban. There are other Lankybox accounts out there. But we don't know if they're legit. And the only ones that look kind of legit are super old. The only actual legit one that we knew is now gone. Funny enough though, kind of expected. People are celebrating this. Because as I explained, people don't really like them. If you enjoyed, check out this other video of a crazy new rules update. See you in the next one.